Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome to my movie channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about two things real quick. The first one is I just want to show you I have this brand new uh, five film collection <clears throat> featuring long pigs, which is why I bought this. Um, it's a cannibal horror film. Right here, I don't know how to say that, but this is um, Abolition. Down here we have I Heart Doomsday. And over here is Werewolf Fever. So pretty cool stuff. Um, I bought it for Long Pigs, but you know, uh, came with five others. Now if I was just to buy Long Pigs by itself, this movie alone is gonna cost $40. Now this whole package costs $7. So who knows? Anyways, the other thing we're going to be talking about today, as you got from the title, is going to be ammo storage. It's a really quick but important topping. Topping. I'm thinking about ice cream. It's a really, it's a really quick but important topic. <clears throat> um, now, ammunition doesn't really go bad per se. There's not an expiration date written on ammo. However, the longer that it stays out in certain conditions, it could... Um, have a you know higher rate of failure so I'm just gonna show you how I store my ammunition there are better ways to store ammo than how I store mine however for the short term and when I say short term for ammo I'm thinking like three to five years the way I store it is just fine so let me show you how I keep my ammunition and it's a cheap way and I think it'll work out well for you guys alright guys so here it is this is my craftsman Toolbox, actually. It's uh, 19 inches wide, and it has two trays right up here, by the way. I don't keep anything inside of them, but it's cool. If I had some spare magazines, probably keep it in that. Same thing on the other side. Uh, if you open it up, and by the way, there is an option to put a padlock. I just don't use it because I have no use for it. And there is a um, lid right here. Okay, now let's get into this thing um, real quick. On this top shelf, I keep self-defense ammo pretty much. So you will see hollow points. These are the Remington Golden Sabres right here, the 38 Specials. Although I no longer have a 38 Special revolver, so I'm just leaving them there. These are not actually self-defense rounds. These are, these are just regular bird shot, but... Um, Probably what I would use, you know, just so that I don't go through walls. I mean, God forbid, you know, if I had to. Now up here, um, double lot buck, nine pellet, 1,325 feet per second. I keep these in the box um, for no real reason. I mean, there's no way I'll get it mixed up, obviously. I mean, one's red, one's black. Now this comes off, and there's a huge, deep compartment right here. Now you're going to notice my little rig, this is my duct tape rig. <laughs> um, now this here is a light, it's going to get super bright by the way. Yeah, um, I put that in here, it's a click light, you just push it in once to turn it off and to turn it on. This, was, this light was $5 and um, it truly does make a difference because it is pretty dark in here. My camera's just picking it up very well. Um, anyways, and down here I have practice rounds. So, you know, these are MagTech. These are 38 Specials. I try to keep them in the box just so that, you know, they don't get messed up. But yeah, I keep them in the box in this plastic holder thing that comes inside and locked inside of the toolbox. Um, that pretty much ensures that no moisture is going to get in here and mess everything up. Uh, here's the 357 Magnums that actually broke my Taurus 605. Although I can't blame these because in reality, let's be honest, it was the Taurus 605. So here's the 357 Magnum. Pretty much the same size as um, the 38 Special, a little bit bigger. Okay, and let's see, these are Remington Birdshot. These are these have some out of the box and I guess the last thing I can show you is the 380 ACP and yeah here's the 380 ACP this is just standard target uh, range ammo and this is all I have for right now um, I used to have 
goodness, a lot more. I used to have some 9mm, some 40 Smith & Wesson, some 45 ACP. However, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is how I keep my ammunition. I've never had any problems, and I've been keeping it in this Craftsman toolbox, which, by the way, I forgot to mention, this toolbox cost me about $15. So very, very good deal. Uh, I've been keeping... Again, my ammunition in this toolbox for about, hell, I don't know, two years, three years. And the longest I kept ammo in here was about two and a half years. And I never had any problem with it, so I'm pretty happy. And, um, yeah, it, it's uh, with this handle. It's a little heavy, but it's actually quite manageable. The toolbox itself is lightweight, though. Alright guys, and there you have it. That's how I store my ammunition. I've never had a problem with it. Again, you know, I've been keeping my ammo in there for about two and a half years. And I had ammo that was like two and a half to three years old. And I had, you know, bought this toolbox over there. Put it in there like a year or six months after I had the ammo. And on my latest trip to the range, if you go back in my videos about five videos back, that was what I was using, the 9mm ammunition for my Glock 19, and there was no problems with it. You know, I think that the toolbox um, keeps it very dry, doesn't allow any moisture in, doesn't allow a lot of air in either, um, which is a good thing, I mean, honestly, if we're dealing with ammunition. So, yeah. I guess the key thing would be to keep everything in the boxes um, and keep them in those little plastic rectangular things with the holes <laughs> inside the box and then you put the box inside the toolbox you, you can't go wrong now there are better cases out there and there's better ways of storing these things they actually have um, similar sized boxes that actually have a, a air seal so that absolutely zero air gets in and that's I mean that's a better option but those are going to cost you a lot more money as well um, for $15, uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, I think I did a pretty good job. And if you count the, uh, the flashlight, then I guess $20. So, anyways, guys, my name is Max. Thanks for watching this video on how I store my ammunition. Anyways, guys, again, thanks for watching. My name is Max, and I'll see you next video.